you know, when people talk about hand fighting, hand gripping, it's a whole body. When you grip fighting, it's your whole body. You know, it's, it's everything. We're going to show this here. So now we've got this guy. He's holding on here, and he's got, I don't want him to control me at this shoulder point because he controls my shoulder. He's going to control my hips and control my body. That's not good. If you get to be a good gripper, you throw people pretty well. Remember, you've got to make the grip adapt to the throw you want to use, and the throw has to be adapted to the, the grip you want to use, too. So you've got to work them together in tandem there. So this is part of that learning process, okay? The idea is to get rid, for Eric, he wants to get rid of this hand on his, his lapel. Okay, he's got to get this. This is a good handle, it's a good anchor. That's why we're working on this right now. Okay, so if I got my hand here, and he's gonna get high and low, and he's gonna kind of pull it tight, and he's just slide it down, pop it free, okay? When, he, when you watch Eric push my hand down, his body doesn't come with it. His body actually goes away from it, and he really tightens that up. So when he goes down, his body goes away as he pushes my hand down, and that helps him pull it through my hand as well as pushing it down, okay? If he let his body come down with it as he was pulling it, it's gonna stay there. All right, so when I'm here, he pulls himself back. He uses his whole body to stretch this thing out straight and push my hand off. Now another way to get rid of that grip right here. Now, if if you're finding this guy is really strong, okay? Remember, you want to get a high and a low, okay? Now, notice what I'm doing. I'm cupping my hand over his thumb, and I'm going to just crunch his thumb and just squeeze it in tight. See how his, his whole hand and fingers here? Come straight down, okay? And so he's moving, and I'm trying to get this. Right, and I can, you always, when you grip, or break a grip, grip back. Don't just grip and say, I let go, because that's kind of passive fighting. I want to grip and attack him. But here are some ways to do it. So, like he was showing, high and low here, you know, and straight down, boom, like this, okay? Another one, and there are others too, obviously, but if, if he's got a really tough grip, you grab, grab real high about the low at the wrist here, the other hand just grab here, just squeezes hands and thumbs together, and when you do that, you go straight down. And don't make a big deal out of it, like, just shot straight down. And see, see, now I've got a hand, can I? I regrip and I can hit him with a throw. You know, when people talk about hand fighting, hand gripping, it's a whole body. When you grip fighting, it's your whole body. You know, it's, it's everything. We're going to show this here. So now we've got this guy, he's holding on here, and he's got, I don't want him to control me at this shoulder point because he controls my shoulder, he's going to control my hips and control my body. That's not good for me. So but now we're going to get a little more aggressive. Okay, now we're getting a little more aggressive. What I want to do, I want to peel it. If I can't peel it, I'm going to get at least him close enough to counter grip. But I'm pretty sure I can peel it. I'm going to do a little bit of jujitsu here, actually. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get his sleeve and grip, grip low and kind of trap it like this. But now, can everybody see the hand here? What I'm going to do, I'm going to grab just inside his thumb. And I'm going to suck it tummy tight. See this? Bring it here. Okay. Now, by doing this, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to use to rotate my body. And I'm gonna put him in a wrist lock, basically. Okay, but see how I'm holding his thumb here? And I'm gonna roll this this way. And that that's not feeling good to him. I'm gonna peel it off hard like that, regrip. Okay? So when you do it fast, let me do it fast. Like this, that's what it looks like. So it, it really is, you know, probably not legal, <laughs> but it's one of those things that's done all the time by everybody who knows how to grip, either judo, sambo, whatever jacket sport we're using that you tighten up, okay? And when you just close in, and now you notice I'm using my forearm, my hand, and everything's pushing, and I'm rolling my shoulder with it. See how the, I'm not rolling over, I'm elbowing like that, like this. And see how that shoulder rolls? And when it does, when it rolls, I pull free, regrip, and I can attack. So that's what I want. Yeah, from the far view of that. So see from this, okay? And attack. So that's what I'm looking for. Okay, so let's work on that now. Let's work on 
closing it in. See how I grab? Put, put them in the wrist lock. Now, don't make it obvious. I mean, you know, it's got to be done fast. The faster you do, the less time the referee's actually going to see it to happen. When you do this, don't go whacking them. Just roll. See how I roll my shoulder? See, it's right there. Then, I've got this. I've got a handle on them. Any throw I want, pretty much. You know, I may dive in for an OG. I may come across a Rio Soto thing. Doesn't matter. I can even hit a new drop say on you off that weird side there. Who knows? But it can happen. All right? The drill is this, okay? It's an aggressive drill because as soon as he gets rid of that, I'm going to grab with the other hand. Or I may come back with the same hand and grab again. His job is to get rid of it, okay? So it's going to look like this. I'll show you a little adaptation in a second here. So I get this and pull, pull it up. We may be moving around too. You should be actually. You notice my hands are always up ready to get another grip. I'm not just standing here with one hand dropped because I wouldn't do that in a real fight. But so my hands are up. And so he's moving, and I'm trying to do this. I can, I can. You always, when you grip, or break a grip, grip back. Don't just grip and say, I let go, because that's kind of passive fighting. I want to grip and attack him. 